What is good, guys? Back again for non-comic book lineup, as always. I am your host, Mom Vernon Kid here. How's everybody doing? Well, we are going through season three pretty well. It's pretty dang well. If you didn't see, guys, I put up, I uploaded on the community feed the lineup for season four. Go check it out and see what's the lineup. But on today, we are going to the world of DC once again. And here it is all about who? The Injustice League. Yes, we're doing the villainous team, the Injustice League. So the Injustice League goes way back. There have been three incarnations of it, but we're going to keep it true to the original where the intergalactic conqueror uh, Agam Ag Agamo, I think I'm saying the name right, um, wanted to con was, was getting bored of conquering until he came across the Justice League. And of course, the story goes, if you know the story, he, he wanted to conquer the Justice League, so he traveled to Earth and he contacted Lex Luthor and Lex Luthor uh, contacted the Penguin, Catwoman, Dr. Light, Black Manta, so many others to make up the first incarnation of the Injustice League and, there, and thus the team was born and like I said there have been three there have been there have been three incarnations and more importantly uh, being that the team was led by Agamon, or I'm saying his name, I keep pronouncing his name wrong. There were 11 members, and that's, that's an odd number, but I'm going to keep it true to the concept that there were 11 members. So I have put together a non comic book lineup of my Injustice League. This team I put together, oh my god, um, I would be a little bit scared of this team if I was a hero fighting them or something like that. But I am looking forward to seeing what you can. Can you top my list? Yeah, I like to see that. So here we go. Let's start it off with who would be leading. So I tried to stay true to the Cosmic Conqueror of Agamon, whatever, I'm, I keep pronouncing the name wrong. Since he's a powerful intergalactic being, I decided to stay true to that too. And number one, the, who would be leading this group, this rabble, this the, this this in this team of unjust vagabonds? No, I'm just. That's it. We're going with Sovereign from the Mass Effect universe. Sovereign. Let that sink in for a minute, right? Yeah. He doesn't really need help, but imagine if he just said, you know, let's just fuck with them. You join me, you live. You don't, you die. Sovereign leads them. Number two on the list. My favorite, my favorite, favorite villain in the Aladdin TV series, Mirage. I love Mirage. She was my favorite more than Mosenrath and all the others that came all the other even Jafar I was I loved Mirage and, and it was points to me I wish I was like man I wish Mirage was a was the a real villain in the movies than in the TV series but Mirage was just she was just nasty and it was almost a point we never really true never truly saw what could she how powerful was she that's the scary thing but she she was you could tell she number three on the list bison come on yeah yeah, yeah I, I mean you gotta have M bison on the list or Balrog whichever world where are you coming from remember and bison is not bison and bison is Balrog's name the boxer because it's supposed to be a player for Mike Tyson Mike Bison Balrog is, oh no, uh, Balrog is, is Vega, Vega is Bison, but here in the States we call him Bison, 
and you talk about evil incarnate he is the true evil of the street fighter universe he always has been i know there's a lot of people that says well well akuma's there but akuma's not like he's evil but he's not like that maniacal <laughs> yes you know evil that you know and think about but bison makes up the list with his cycle power and things like that next up on the list you talk about somebody that can bring some major threats to creating the major from Helsing. me and my boy uh, mr. multi both love the major as a villain this is a guy who has no empathy for life he hates and of course is the same guy who worked he's a fucking Nazi okay and he has worked with Hitler alright so yes but more importantly you would think to yourself well I don't know if he would want to work with these people well who's the leader sovereign and if he wanted to sovereign can control the major to do whatever he wants. Just saying. Next up on the list, Shang Tsung. The sorcerer is a must have, and I would believe Sovereign would not be playing with any of him. So he'd be like, if you think about even betraying us, you're dead. I can control you too. Sovereign was strong enough to control powerful, powerful, uh, uh, um, Asari, so yeah, come on. And Asari is some of the pop most powerful individuals in the Mass Effect universe. Just saying. Enough so on the list. Griffith from Berserk. Once beloved by the people, and then this man just, he just flipped. He just almost like bipolar, just flipped on a dime and he didn't give a damn about nobody. He was about himself and loathing. He hated the weak. He, 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 he is just evil. And you're just like, what the hell? You go from being the hero to being the villain. Griffin was no joke. Griffin, yeah. Next on the list, I had to put this guy in a Frieza. Frieza would try, I think would try to feel like he would lead. But I can see Frieza Sovereign controlling him too. Sovereign, I think, will control a lot of the individual I have on there. Some he would, but some of them he would because he would just use them. But at the end of the day, this is a threat. Frieza, a threat. Frieza is one of my favorite villains in the Dragon Ball franchise. I hate Cell. Fuck Cell. I hate him. Um, next up on the list, Seth. Sephiroth. Seth, Sephiroth. Uh, do I have to say anything about this guy? He gives me the fucking creeps. Ugh. Ugh. Next on the list, number nine. This woman gives me the creeps too. Alma Wade. From the Fear Games. Oh my god, this girl creeps me out. She creeps me out to death. The stuff she does in that game is ridiculous, and the stuff she does to the main character is ridiculous. It's, it's just creepy, and I'm not, I, and I'm, I'm already creeped out by her because she got the long black hair, which I don't like. If she was making that creepy noise from like, yeah, it'd be even worse, but yeah, she's creepy, and I don't like her too much, but she would make a hell of a member of Ten Justice League. And number 10 on the list, Lust! Oh, out of all the homunculus, Lust was probably the one that creeped me out the most, and Lust was the one you were like, I don't want any part of her. Get her away from me. She was a badass too, like, but you can't tell me seeing Armstrong, not Armstrong, um, Mustang. Woo, that was great stuff. See it hurt. Mm, he's just, mm, just. Oh, that was great. But she was, she's deadly. And lust, lust. 
this is crazy. And the last one, number 11 thing. From the Soul Eater universe, we are going with Medusa Gorgon, or Dr. Medusa. People used to think they had some feeling like, oh, she's not bad. Oh, yeah? She ain't bad? Yeah, I, 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 don't, I wonder. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I bet you wouldn't, wouldn't you. I, as soon as I heard people saying, I had friends that were saying, she's not bad. She's a nurse, everything like that. I'm like, oh, you want to take a bet on that? I, I, I'll bet you right now. And you know what happened? What did she do? Huh? She was bad. She resurrected. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not even going, if you, I don't want to spoil it for anybody who's never watched Soul Eater and you want to watch her, but the fact of the matter is, this woman was crazy and sick and twisted. She was a, basically she was an angel of death and that's exactly why she, she makes up the last member of my Injustice League. Well, there you have it, guys. Some of the most despicable vagabonds I can think of outside of comics to make up my non-comic book lineup of the Injustice League. You guys tell me in the comment section down below who makes up your lineup. Yes, you have to have a, a 11, because we're going with paying homage to the original incarnation, which were 11 members. I'm looking forward to seeing who is your leader, who are your members. Top that, my pack. Let's see what you got. I'm looking forward to it. And with that being said, guys, this is my little kid saying peace, my love, stay tuned, keep it real. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.